The Gulf Coast fritillary is a species of butterfly common in states along the Gulf of Mexico. Fritillary butterflies are selective about where they lay their eggs and where they get their nectar that they eat. A common plant on which they lay their eggs is one species of passion flower, a beautiful Texas native vine. The female butterfly doesn't waste any time laying her egg. The eggs are tiny yellow dots on the passion flower leaves. Some passion flowers have evolved some defenses against butterflies laying eggs on their leaves. Female fritillaries don't like to lay their eggs on passion flowers that already have eggs because their babies won't have as much to eat. So if the passion flowers can make fake butterfly eggs on the leaves, the female fritillary is less likely to lay its eggs there. The fake eggs are also sugar nectaries that attract ants, which may eat the butterfly's eggs. Once the eggs hatch, the caterpillar eats the passion flower leaves and quickly grows. After fully developing, the caterpillar spins an anchor silk on a twig and suspends from it. Then, an amazing change converts it from a caterpillar into a chrysalis. After a few days, another transformation takes place, a metamorphosis, and the fully developed adult butterfly emerges. The adult butterfly sucks sugary nectar from many different flowers, but primarily from tubular flowers that, due to their shape, don't allow bees to get in. The turk's cap has petals that usually keep out most nectar feeders, except hummingbirds, but sometimes the butterflies can steal nectar without pollinating the flower. The ruby-throated hummingbird and the turk's cap mallow are partners that fit together like a hand in a glove. The turk's cap pollen has sharp spines on the grains. As the hummingbird forces its long beak into the flower, the sharp spines on the turk's cap pollen grains attach to the hummingbird's head and neck feathers. The butterfly steals from the turk's cap without pollinating the flower and also deprives the hummingbird of nectar. These are examples of the complex relationships that have evolved between birds, butterflies, and plants. <laughs>